there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we are in the hostess city of Savannah, Georgia, a beautiful place to be. And today what we have for you are the six things that tourists should actually kind of pay attention to when they do come to the U.S. Because you hear all these crazy stories and horrible stories about the U.S. and crime and stuff like that. And in reality, the U.S. is a very safe place. And there's only a few things you really need to worry about because it might happen. So I'm going to focus on those six things in this video that I actually take care of when I travel the U.S. So let's get started. And the first thing is getting ripped off by a taxi. Look, if you're going into a big city or you're flying into an airport and you're going to take a taxi from there, those are the easiest ways for taxi to rip you off because look, you're coming to the city, you don't know how things are set up, you're like, oh, take me to this hotel here. They're like, oh, okay. And they might take the long way to get there and you could get ripped off that way. And so what I recommend you do with taxis and stuff like that is one, when you're going to book your accommodation, ask them, hey, how much is the taxi, how much would a taxi be from the airport or the conference or whatever to your hotel? So you have a rough idea of how much you should pay. Also ask them, how long does it usually take, you know, rush hour or off rush hour? And if you're coming from places like downtown or the airport, they'll know how long that should be so you can have a rough idea. And the thing is, if you feel like you're getting ripped off or you're getting the runaround, you know, you have all these apps on your phone that can help you track where you're going and stuff like that, or the best way to get to the airport to your hotel. So do do those things. You'd be like, hey, why aren't we going on uh, Bay Street, you know? Just to have some idea like that. Um, and also take the number of the cab driver. They have to have that there. If you don't see their nameplate and all that information, you don't be in that cab anyway, okay? And of course you can always do, there's the Lyft and the Ubers. That's in a lot of places in the US as well. So at least you know, that gives you a rough idea what the price is beforehand. You got the person's name and stuff like that. So there is that option, okay? The second thing I worry about when you come here is getting your medicine stolen from your hotel room. There's a lot of tourists that have written us and talked to us and said, hey, you know what? I went to this hotel and my meds disappeared or a few of my meds disappeared. Look, prescription drug abuse in the U.S. is not a joke. It really is there. And people can make a lot of money selling people's medicines. And you might think, why would they want my blood pressure medicine? Why would they want my cholesterol medicine? Why would they want my weight loss medicine? Look, the thing is, is people will see it and they might take it. I'm not saying it happens a lot, but I'm saying it could happen. So make sure you're always putting your medicines away in your hotel. So put it, you know, in your in your carry-on bag or in your bag or in your suitcase or something like that during the day. Because I you know what most of the people that work in these places are fantastic people. But just like anything, one bad apple could cause an issue. So make sure you do put those meds away. Um, also, I would say is don't forget when you do travel, never put your medicine in your checked bags. Always have it on your carry-on so it's with you, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Now my third thing I worry about when I'm here is being in the wrong place at the wrong time. And that's when you're looking at things like, um, you know, carjackings and stuff like that, which don't happen very often, but it's more of a crime of opportunity. So you know what? Make sure you're talking to your hotel. Hey, are there any parts of town I shouldn't be in? Or is there a place I should check out or not check out? Is there certain places that are nice during the day or at night? Because you'd be surprised how many places, not just here in the U.S., but around the world, which are beautiful, beautiful tourist spots during the day, but not really a place you want to be at night. So do actually ask your concierge about that. Now, my next thing I kind of worry about when I go around, when I'm with my kids, are aggressive beggars or aggressive homeless people. You will see, you know, as, as rich as America is, you will see an inordinate, inordinate amount of homeless people and people begging in the U.S., which is really sad. And the thing is, in the bigger cities and the more touristy cities, I've seen a lot of the beggars getting more forceful. Hey, give me a dollar. Hey, give me some more money. I want more than this. Hey, come on, give me some stuff. And it gets people very uncomfortable. And the thing is, is if you see, you know, this going on or something like that, I mean, I, I'll cross the street, I'll turn around and walk the other way, I'll go into the shop right there, hey, it's Victoria's Secrets, whatever, I'm going in, you know, because I don't want to deal with that. And the thing is, it's a very sad thing in the U.S., but as a tourist, you do need to have a heads up about that. So what I recommend is you can't, like, walk out of the way or something like that, just say, I, I, I don't have any cash. You know, sorry, I don't have any cash. Because nowadays, most people don't have cash, we just use credit cards. But don't tell them, oh, I don't have any cash, but I got credit cards. No, no, no. You never know, they might whip out, like, a little thing, say, oh, I take credit card now. No, but honestly, just say, hey, I don't have any cash, man, sorry, and just keep on walking, okay? 
Now the fifth thing I do watch out when I do travel in the US, and this is one that actually is more than just the US, this is anywhere I go, are credit card scams. If you're going to a restaurant, or you're going someplace and you don't feel comfortable, and sometimes you may feel totally comfortable, but you wanna make sure you always keep an eye on your credit card. If they're gonna take your credit card to go pay, make sure you can watch them where they're going, and sometimes they'll bring it, you're like, you just bring it here so I can sign or put my chip card in or, or whatever so you can pay attention to what's going on. Um, also, if you, you, you know, if you want, go walk up with them, like, oh, I'll come with you to sign. You know, and most of the time it's not a problem, but it is something you need to check out because what I do is when we travel around, we'll, we'll pay with credit cards a lot, and then I always check my bill afterwards, like, is there anything extra? Is there anything that I didn't go through right? And so that might be something you want to look at, okay? And then my sixth one is actually has to do with your rental car or your car when you're driving around the U.S. You do have to drive around the U.S. because it's such a big place and public transport really isn't something you're going to use too much when you are here. And what I would say is, you got to worry about getting your car broken into at night. Look, if you have any valuables at all, do not leave them out in your rental car. Bring all your suitcases in when you're going to be spending the night. Do not leave anything in that car. You may think, oh, it's just a few dollars and change. Hey, that few dollars and change looks good to somebody. Oh, it was just like the, the battery charger for my phone. Boom, that could be something as well. So put everything away so people can't see it. And the thing is, that can happen during the day as well. When we're going around places, we have the cover over the car, we rent a car with a trunk to put our stuff in there so we don't have to worry about it, okay? So those are just some of the things that I actually worry about when I travel the US. I don't worry about too many other things when I go around because it is a pretty safe country to go see. And I hope this helps you feel more comfortable about coming to the US because the thing is, you'll be safer if you're better prepared. And that's what we're trying to do for these videos, okay? So most likely, none of the stuff's actually gonna happen to you in the US but it might give you some things to feel better about coming here because you know what you're looking out for. And I would add one thing. If someone does try to mug you or carjack you or something like that, which is extremely unlikely in the U.S., just give it to them. Give your wallet, your phone, your car, whatever. You do not want to give them a reason to use whatever they're using against you. Just give it to them, okay? Because the thing is, you can get a new car. You can get a new phone, you can get a new camera, you can go and you actually book those vacations again and go get those same pictures with your family again, but you can't replace you, okay? So just give it to them if it does actually happen. And that's not just here in the US, that's anywhere in the world, just, just give it to them. Because it's not worth losing your life or getting hurt because of that. It's just a camera, it's just a computer, it's just a phone, just give it to them and let them go. That's just one little safety thing I do want to tell you though. Anyway, if you want to learn more about visiting the U.S., obtain things that'll shock tourists when they come here, the things you don't do here in the U.S. or even here in the South, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions. And if you do subscribe to our YouTube channel, we put out a new travel video every Wednesday and Saturday from all over the world. So I'll say bye from Savannah, Georgia, and yes, you'll have a safe, fantastic time in the U.S., but just like anywhere you go, Always pay attention. Bye, fellow travelers.